Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to some more Dawn of Man tutorial. But we're just following this little little sprat around uh, while while they uh, they do their chores, their daily tasks. Uh, look, that one takes some meat over to be dried. Yeah, we're uh, we're into the uh, the Mesolithic era. In the last episode, right at the end, we unlocked archery. And began crafting up some bows they're not fully crafted yet but we're going to be looking at, at, at what we want to craft what we want to be doing at this point in in the game and what priorities we want to be putting on tech now for the most part dog domestication dog training things like grain processing pulse processing spirituality those are things that you know if they come up they come up at the moment i'm not overly fussed about pushing and buying all of all of these things sledge making is is quite key as is uh, bone polishing and stone polishing that's that's gonna um, really really help us push forward we can do a flint sickle and a flint knife when we've done that but for now um we're just gonna be gently pushing on Letting things, uh, letting things get done, letting ourselves just get, get used to this era. We've only just come into this era. We've got 12 people. We'll probably chuck up a couple more tents during this era. Probably try and get ourselves to about to a population of 30. But at the moment in this game, you want to really just step back, take it easy, and let the points come to you. You really want to focus on on uh on hunting hunting your first animal to get a point hunting your fifth animal to get a point you know all of those things and uh and racking up those bones which you can then come into here and craft into bone harpoons for trading um as we are we are we're doing now i've got auto craft on for the bone harpoons and I'm just going to come into my limits. I just want to double check. I think I did this in the last round or the last episode, but I am going to check. Let me have a look at my limits. My bows are on craft for 100% of the adult population. I've got slings set to 50% of adults. I don't need that. I actually don't want a single sling to be crafted. So let's get rid of those. Um, and uh, we will uh, yeah, we'll just mosey on. We've got, we've still got that baby rhino. I'd really like an adult rhino knocking around. That would give us, uh, give us a nice amount of meat. Right, so I'm gonna probably, um, I'm gonna take myself into primal vision. See what we do have around here. I really don't want to kill the baby rhino. That just feels cruel. But we might just have to. We've got a wolf over there not got really anything that's going to charge at us and make hunting easy have we so uh let's push on we've got plenty of food so um yeah let's come out of uh primal let's push on we've got plenty of food for now oh wow we've got three more people joining that have joined the settlement and uh we are now max capacity on housing and uh, we have plus three knowledge points for that wonderful okay pause grab uh grab a couple of hunters and we are going to come over here and we're going to say hunt some mouflon dudes don't cross the water don't do it Okay, um, got another one here. I am going to send them across there to kill that one. There we go. Uh, what have we got here? Another horse. Okay, we'll let them all go back. They can all go back and uh, and just chill. Kill, kill beans. So what have we got? We've got eight knives. We've got nine spears, but 15 people. How many adults do we have? 
in uh, in our population. If we go into manage, you can check up here, but it means you count. You have to count them up. So if you come in here and you hover over here, there are currently eight adults in your settlement. You'll see any of these really, it will, any of the weapons that uh, only apply to adults, it will tell you how many adults you've got. We've only got eight, so we've got pl plenty of knives really, uh, plenty of spears. We don't need eight axe, uh, we don't need eight picks at the moment. We've got nine bows, that's great. Um, and uh, oh, it is super tempting guys, super blooming tempting to, uh, to kill that rhino. But yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm going to come down here though. And how many people do we have fishing? I'm going to chuck two people fishing. Uh, to a max of 15 fish. And we're going to buy some uh, sledge making tech. Which is awesome. And then we're going to say. Um, the sledge making you want to come into. You don't craft it there. Although later you get an advanced workshop. And you can craft it in there. But we're going to say uh, transport, build us. So we've got nine leather. I'm going to craft up, uh, what, five, five sleds to begin with. We've got ten stone, so we are uh, we're well on to uh, another point. Um, even though we, we don't use stone at the moment, what you're going to want to do is really start to uh, to grab some stone resources and the reason you're going to want to do that is that at a later date you are going to be building stone walls they take a hell of a lot of resources and when you throw those stone walls up you are you are going to want to get them up very quickly you're not going to want to be messing around so if you've got a load of stone in reserve then that means that you can you can get those up as quick as possible because when those raiders come and you want to increase your fortifications, you want that done. You don't want to be doing it midway through a raider attack. Let's just say that. So let's uh, push this on. Now, guys, um, you can see I've got basic resources here, but there are different ways you can look at your resources. So what we've got here is resources. This is your general bar, but we have it up here, so we're going to uh, get rid of that. Grouped resources, so it shows all your materials, all your weapons, your food, your clothing. So I'm going to chuck up group, grouped resources to start with. And the next thing we can have a look at is some a food chart, what food we've got. I'm going to pause that. Uh, we've got our straw chart. We don't have any straw at the moment, but when we do need to start using straw, that's what we can do when we start taking care of animals. We'll have our um, our total shelter space, etc., and how many need shelter, all the quantities of all our animals there. Uh, speed, you can put that on and just like use that to adjust your speed, or you can use one, two, three, four. Um, and what else we got? So we got attachments, so it tells you what transport you got. Right now we've got five sledges. Workload, how high is your workload? That is when we were really pushing them. And uh, yeah, anything else? Defences, yeah. When you've got defences in place, when you're getting attacked by raiders, uh, these will come into play. But for now, all we're going to do really, we're going to get rid of that, we're going to get rid of that, we're going to have our group resources up there and we're going to let it play on. Now if you look into the tech, we've got grain processing here. Now this unlocks haystack mortar pulse processing, which is this, flour and bread. The thing is, there is absolutely no point in investing in this food source, in, in this, without having invested in at the very least bone polishing because in order to cut down the grain you need a sickle and you can't unlock a sickle until you've invested in this so i hope you're all doing well don't forget if you like this video please do take the time to click the like button and if you haven't done so already consider subscribing to the channel that would be incredible 
Uh, I do have a Discord server, which would be uh, something that you might be interested in, uh, in in coming and joining. We've got about 50 people on there now. It's it's doing really well. Come back, guys. Come back. Stop. Oh, they've killed it. That's good. Bring you all over here now that you've killed it. I just don't want people going too far in the winter. So, yeah, I've got a Discord server. If you fancy coming and joining us in there then uh, do check out the link in my description and as always any hints tips comments or criticisms anything you want me to add into this tips tutorial se series pop it in the comment section and, uh, and we'll get that done now i've got another tent gone up which means i've got uh, total housing for 18 people but only 15 so we've got some space for people to move in i'm gonna pause and send someone over to kill at least one of these. We'll probably take out a few of those three people. Right. We'll then send someone over to do that one. There we go. Brilliant. Three more humans have joined the settlement. Our settlement must be really popular. We're then going to send them over here. Kill one more. And that will really help with our food. However, no, oh, I was about to say nobody wants to kill him, but they actually did. They all did. So, uh, yeah, we've got this being carved up. This one's still to be carved up. And our food is starting to look a little bit better. But yeah, those people, my God, they're joining quick and quick and quick. Um... And how are we doing? Bone harpoons, we've got 18. Wonderful. So I think for now, I'm just going to pause this, check on primal, see what we've got in the area. Not a great deal. We've got uh, another moofle on there. Ooh, what is this? Uh, a wild horse that is... Uh, not feeling particularly healthy. I think maybe we took a chunk out of him last time. So let's go. Let's kill him. Let's get more mo uh, lo more food and uh, more bones. All right, that one's done. And let's come in for the kill and get the move on as well. And I'm taking way too many people, but my workload is not a problem. And uh, it just means I can kill really quickly. Let's get to the trader. Okay, burn harpoon. Let me just check. So that would be 70. 121. Okay. What else have we got? We've got six bones. Now, if I buy these bones for 18, I can then convert them into... Um, bone harpoons, which I can then sell on. Similar for the flint. But I almost feel like, let me put up another fishing area, maybe here. We'll say two more people. Pop a couple more people to fish that area. Because we've, we've got quite a few people now. We can start to uh to kind of expand in that way and just be opportunistic when something walks through our village we'll kill it we are just churning things out right now so that when we get our next trader who is selling something in terms of tech we will be able to afford to buy it i can't impress upon you how important that is to be able to trade for tech. Stone harpoons. Flint is a finite resource, but we're not going to be in the flint era for that long. So we can afford to craft out a few extra spears and sell them. Right, we've got 14 wood. Guys, I think what we're going to do is now that we're down at like 29% workload um, and those are quite nice tannin resources at the moment 
Uh, so I'm just going to cut down some fir trees, maybe some beech trees. We seem to be a little bit, not glitched, but stuck in the whole two knowledge points. We don't know what we need to do next to get more, more knowledge points, right? So come into manage and we will click on more. Now we'll click on knowledge progress. Now, if you have a look here, cave bear, we have killed three. We've killed three out of five. So when we've killed five, we get another two knowledge points. Um, this one, mouflon, we've killed eight. Eight out of ten. Once we've killed ten mouflon, get another two knowledge, uh, another knowledge point. So don't forget, the big ass, uh, like the cave bear, the whatever they are called, the rhinos, the mammoth all those things they give you two points the rest of the animals give you one point but you've got certain set targets so a couple of mouflon um and we've got some some more knowledge points four more tents one more storage tent which we could absolutely do we could throw down another skin dryer so let's get those things done shall we let's also we've got some cave lions we have not killed any cave lions yet so let's grab some hunters and we will send them over we'll come over here we've got grain processing we can get that we can totally get that so let's go sell off those harpoons and we've got a few extra bows um, we've got 195 to 197. Let's grab a fish. Two fish. Give them one log. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, we need those uh, cave lions. Let's, let's go for this one, shall we? Get that one taken down. And then we're going to come up here. Come on, run. Guys, I know it's a storm, but you need to come over here. We need to fast forward. And we will kill these bad boys. Brilliant. There's another one over here. So let me press tab. There we go. The uh, young ones don't yield you as much in the way of food or, or resources, but they do yield you something. So do kill them. They are less hit points, easier to deal with. And uh, if you're in a real bind, just, just go for them. Yeah, this is a hard winter, guys. We are we're on the edge on the food front. Not great at all. There is a cave bear, but it's right over there. I'm not sure. Let's grab some hunters. And see if we can send them that far. See if they'd be willing to go. They are brilliant. Brilliant! Best thing, remember? The aggressive animals, they will run towards you when you kill them. tab out of there. Brilliant. Oh man, that food is not looking good. Yeah, I know we're low on food. There's really not that much in the way of uh, animals though around here. I'm not seeing anything at the moment, which is very frustrating. There is, however, there is a reindeer. Let's click on a few hunters. Get a few more because those suckers can run. And we will send somebody over here to hunt the reindeer. And we'll push them on. More food coming back. Brilliant. And they've taken down the reindeer. Wonderful. 
Now I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to click, click on here. Now, these fishing banks are not looking great. These ones are not looking perfect, but they're a lot better. So this fishing area, we're going to say edit work area. And it was covering these two squares. So we are now going to bring it to cover these two squares. Like so. Right, so pause, come into knowledge points and we unlock stone polishing. Now the rest I am happy to buy, totally happy to buy, but this one, we will not be able to move into the Neolithic era until we have actually purchased pulse processing. And then after that, we're gonna need to unlock uh, serial domestication for 15 points and then uh, anything else that we want to unlock is going to cost seven points so we're going to need to rack up points so we're going to need at least seven and then to rack up 15 plus at least seven so at this point again we're going to settle into the Mesolithic era uh, we're going to let ourselves rack up the bones buy some dog training we, we can now start to make some bread we're almost into um, summer. When we hit autumn, then uh, we will uh, we will be harvesting our first amount of crops. We're going to say that for now, we're going to come in and build some production items. Now, for bread, we're going to need a, a kind of pestle and mortar, so that's going to go in there. We have got a tanner. We craft our bread on the fire. Now, hmm, we have two storage tents. And I'm thinking if we craft another one, so let's go into storage, storage, and we will rotate that one there. If we craft a haystack, just chuck that there for now. If we craft another couple of hearths, which we will take down afterwards, and I think some more mortars, uh, but I do need to check how many. We have a look. Um, my knowledge progress, mortars, naught of one. So until that's crafted, I don't know how many more we need to craft. But um, tents we're not going to chuck up simply because we've got a population that I think is, is just about as close as we can get to where we want to be right now. Um, we don't want any more. Not until uh, not until we've uh, progressed a bit. Now we've got a little baby move on there, which is awful. But yes, I am going to go and kill him. Send somebody over there. And there's some more move on over here. So let's grab a few people. And we'll send someone over to kill that. And probably any other adult mouflon over here. And <laughs> we want them to be killed. Right. Oh. Okay. Pause. I want you to kill this one next. Any more? No. Okay. What do we have up here? Okay, so you guys, I want you to all come over here. Let's try one more time. Here they come. Here they come. That's better. Brilliant. So, while we've been attacking that raucous, we've been racking up the points. We've crafted up another storage tent, so three gives us another point. We've crafted up more hearths. Three gives us another point. We're going to now 
recycle these because we we don't want to be wasting wood uh we're out of pickaxes let's craft us up a couple more uh our bone harpoons are continuing to craft we're going to craft up a couple of flint sickles and the trader is here so let's pause everything and we'll see what he's got he's got five bones i'm going to buy those I might give him free leather because at the moment we're kind of okay on leather and those three, those five bones we will craft up into more resources. We'll probably do the same with some flint and we'll grab some bread. Uh, we can grab some grain now because we can do stuff with that and we'll grab some some meat. And I'm going to give him a couple of bows. Perfect. Now, if you look at this, our stone pile is, is getting slightly full. And we do only have one stone pile at the moment. So I'm going to come into storage and I'm going to chuck another one up just over here. I'll be rearranging all these things at a later date, but for now... It really is about just throwing everything down and making sure that everything's okay. Now, if I come into production, no, if I come into um, manage limits, we have 17 adults now, guys, and only five sledges. So if I click on my transport, yeah, we need to craft up some more of those. That will really help with workload efficiency. So let's let's craft up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do. That'll do. And push on. We really need more food as well. A lot more food, more food. Um Yep, we've got stone, we've got wood, we've got animals being killed left, right and centre. It's all going rather well, guys. Um, what I'd like to do is just, we're into autumn now, so we've got four sickles now. At this point, only in autumn can you do this. You come in here, and this is already, um, this is already selected to be harvested, because this is where we put our gathering area, if you remember. That one is not. So if I come in, here's our gathering area. This is the area that it covers. But why is that not selected to be gathered? I'm not sure. Uh, but we've got einkorn that can be gathered. Brilliant. Uh, we've got rye that can be gathered. Whatever that is, that's peas. We can't gather that. We've got down here bit of veg, can't gather that, but we can gather the barley, some more rye there, and what else do we have around here that they can possibly go and uh, harvest, bit of vetch, no, so the bit of vetch, the chickpeas, they're all pulses, we cannot harvest those yet, everything else, that uh, this is probably a little bit far but we're gonna we're gonna risk it for a biscuit as they say and that no but that is right and we are then going to push on we're gonna say ooh, oh what's that lentils no so we're gonna go on to double speed or four times speed eight times speed we're gonna push on forward we've got flour we've got bread we've got grain and we are, yeah, we're now going to chuck in our next residence to take our population hopefully over over the uh, the boundary of 20. Let's chuck that in. Where do we want it? Might pop it, might start popping a little circle around here now. So that will go there. New human has joined the settlement. We will have more joining very soon. Marvellous. Yes, why not? Let's stone mine. Let's stone mine. Get 
can't. We're doing on wood. We're okay. We've got stick gathering, but our resources are, are getting lower, so we're going to just up that to two people. 17 bread. Trader has arrived. Right, let's see what he's got in his pockets. Is He has got spirituality. Um, so let me just jump out of here quickly. I'll go on to one time speed. Get back in here. He's got these. We're going to grab those. We're going to grab spirituality. We need to rack up 244 points. So we're going to go shift, hold down the shift and left click and that will give you stacks of 10 to sell. And that's what we're going to do. We are also going to sell what? Three flint spears and three, no, two uh, bows and arrows. What else? You know what? I'm going to sell one flint knife and I might as well just grab a wood. Cool. Spirituality purchased from the trader unlocked without us having to spend any of our valuable knowledge points. And that's where we're going to leave it, guys. We've we've unlocked a lot. We've purchased a bit from the trader, which is really nice. We're starting to stockpile our points for progression into the Neolithic era. Before we even do that, we want to unlock dog domestication, training and uh, pulse processing and stockpile at least 22 points so that we can unlock um, Neolithic era. And I won't tell you what else I will prioritise unlocking in the next era, um, other than the, the key unlock, which is zero domestication. In the next era, you will find out what I'm going to unlock. We're going to discover that in the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do take the time to click the like button. Don't forget that I have a, a Discord server, The Hive. Check the link out in the description. If you've got any hints, tips, comments or criticisms that you want me to mention in this series, pop them in the comment section. Or if you just want to say hi, pop it in the comment section. Uh, yeah, do like this video, please, if you've liked it. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel. I am just a lowly humble uh, content creator and any support that you can give me would be hugely appreciated. Until next time guys, you stay safe and take care.